Welcome to the Crucial Classics YouTube channel, where what we do is watch movies together. We're going to make use of the wealth of free movies right here on YouTube from that golden age of Hollywood. So join me as we will sync up, press play at the same time, and let's just enjoy the magic from this golden age of Hollywood. Hi, and welcome back to Crucial Classics. If this is your first time here, welcome. We start looking at the wall of my living room, decorated like this because old movies are important for the past 32 years. So today's title, this title right now, is our second title in the Miss Hepburn Iconathon Celebrity, same last name. Just a two little movie um, trio, trio, a two little movie trio, <laughs> duo. <laughs> that we're watching right now from some recent titles that became available on um, the platforms that allow us to up the ante watching these movies together for free. So this one, The Rainmaker, I have never seen. I have seen that this platform was playing this movie uh, recently. I never got into it because I I opened right up to it, yay. I wanted to watch it on a paid site is what I thought it would have to be. Um, it's Katherine Hepburn looking interesting. Um, so I want to see, I have no idea what to tell you that this movie is about. The Rainmaker from 1956, directed by someone, Joseph Anthony, blah, blah, blah. So... Lancaster is in top form as a charismatic con man who offers hope to a southwestern town beset by drought and a woman whose life is at a crossroads. Hepburn is wonderful. N. Richard Nash play was later musicalized on Broadway as Lift in the Shade, I think it says. I can't tell. Okay, so yeah, I saw that she got nominated for an Oscar. And then, you know what I mean? It made me wonder. I was like, just today I saw she got nominated for an Oscar uh, when I was just catching it in bits and bits. I'm talking about like 30 seconds. Maybe I let myself watch this in places so far. I was wondering if this was something she won an Oscar for. You know what I mean? She's won for Oscar. She did win for Oscars. I don't know what they were for. Alice Adams... Light and winter. So, right, but she won for it, and, so she, and she's won the most for any actress. So, uh, you know, it allows it to be, oh, it's like, is the Rainmaker or something that she won an Oscar for? Oh, the African Queen, huh? We found that out when we watched the African Queen. So that's three. I do not know what the other one is. So, all right, that's, now I just kind of spoiled it for myself because I know tons more just now than I would have. I absolutely would have had no idea of the premise. No need to blab, people. Um, go ahead and check out our member site. Titles will be continuing to grow there just continually over time. I don't have hours in a day, a week, to be kind of taking time from my channel right now here with you guys to be putting up and just even watching the movies that I'm going to watch over there. But I, Paul Newman is on my mind, and I think that I may just hit it out of the park with Cool Hand Luke and then kind of keep it moving to other... Oh, look, because I was like, I'm going to do Cool Hand Luke, Night of the Iguana, and this property is condemned. I'm telling you people, we make wishes over on the member site. So you're going to want to come and join and check out and just bring your own copy. And that is what we do over there. So in the meantime, because I'm not sure, I think we have a good month available for this link. I just saw this movie hit Pluto TV May 1st. Today is May 3rd. We should be in great shape for at least the rest of this month for it to be here. So ready, playing. Actually, I say that, but this is not the way I'm going to watch the movie. So let me get positioned and then we'll do our play. Click together. All right, just let's review the ways to watch the movie. Two devices. Watch this movie on your TV. Watch me on your mobile device. Pause me as your commercials hit. Easy way. Two tabs, me in one, the movie in another. Pull the movie over to take up more of the screen. Or picture in picture, shrink me down, float me over the movie. Have your mouse hovering over me for that. When the commercials hit, it just allows kind of the buttons, because the pause button is active on the small version of me. And pause me as you need to when the ads hit. Unpause. Hey, here's the 
moral to the story, these movies cycle in and out of being um, free for us to click the link that I'm providing for you right now and the movie just launches. It will get to a place in time more than likely you'll need to bring your own copy and guess what, when you do that there's no ads and there's no need to pause. So. <laughs> right it's just it is what it is for right now it'll morph into what it will be and in the meantime let's just watch it right now playing in three two one click wow whoa okay paramount is it vista vision fifty six we got Okay. Oh, there's nothing you can do to prevent a tornado. Is he selling some type of a product to prevent tornadoes? You know what I mean? They're just calling the police on this one. <laughs> he said he warranties it. Do you let do you let him get your daughter's name? said it's going to prevent the tornado. Is it 1999? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. But the police are right there. I mean, why is it illegal? It's just ridiculous. Ridiculous if you're buying it, but um, um, all right. Well, we get con man right away. I mean, you know, nothing is spoiled that we already read that. What, where is he going? Oh, I thought he was just gonna go hide in that little compartment. Oh, he's long gone, it seems like. <laughs> Is that gonna like blow or something? What is going on? Is he losing all of his product? I mean, did you just set your stuff on fire, dude? Oh, wow. Oh, he can just come back and get it. Is it hitched to his wagon? Is this Catherine Hepburn? Cause somebody's holding one. Oh, it's the little girl. <laughs> hard, uh, he's making a hard, he's working hard for his money, right? <laughs> Is he driven out of town? He better not try and set up just down the block, right? <laughs> Wow. Okay, so he is um, in the middle of nowhere now. Hal Wallace again. I still haven't looked him up, but obviously he's just an iconic producer from back in the day. I really do not know what producers do in movies. Wendell Corey, we see him a bit around. I feel like 
like I heard based on something to do with Joan Crawford, you know, just like some kind of a dispute she had that Wendell Corey was the president of the was it the Academy Awards, Edith Head? The president of the Academy for a while or something. He was the president of something for a while. Because it's like he didn't really like splash hard in movies right I mean he actually is in a lot of stuff but when you think like he transitioned from that to being the president of something to do with about actors the screen actors I don't know he was a president of something entering three point and tell I don't know what it did say like very fertile place until the drought came or something I didn't catch it Okay, so this is definitely, like, the next town. And it probably is possible, if he's in a wagon, right? Like, they don't have little emails to give a little heads up that this fool's on his way. <laughs> Be on the lookout, right? <laughs> he, I, did you hear me say, like, there is nothing you can do to prevent a tornado, and he legitimately is putting a warranty. And for 1995 with free shipping and handling. And you could get two for free, just pay a separate um, processing fee. You know what I mean? It's like, what is going on? Oh, he's he stops first at the sheriff's office. <laughs> he knows who he is, like town to town that he goes to. He just wants to know where that's located. <laughs> oh, so there are cars exist. Okay. Wow. Looking like a gladiator, this big old thick band on his wrist. Bert Lancaster is very versatile, huh? Drought relief. What is this a prize or something or it is somebody's car? Are they raffling? Oh. Uh, Yorn. Wow. Okay. Well, we heard it southwestern. How tall are you? You look like you're three. <laughs> well, it is a fact, but it's also something nobody can control, right? Wow. Oh, okay. She is all up on her. Okay. She ain't from here. Well, they just saw him. He knew her name. Oh, uh, are you guys stalking each other? Oh, wow. Well... It looks a little odd. It is a very interesting little choice. Oh, so just because he asked her about her hat, she got very offended. Huh? dark without a chaperone and and then he refused to marry her and she was ruined just the same so 
she's known to be a hoe. Oh, they just, that means a thing. Oh, that's Lloyd Bridges. Oh. Well, so then that's what you hope she's coming back with, a man? What difference does it make to people whether or not that's her situation? Nosy. And so I guess this may be our introduction to Katherine Hepburn. Is this a bus? Doesn't sound like a train, huh? No, it's just a car. this dude steal? Like, are you all this? <sighs> mm -hmm. I mean, I guess he doesn't. Oh, yeah, you. We got the memo on that. Okay. This is the train station. Oh, okay. So, Somebody, Lizzie, is his sister. Ew, she went to, was she supposed to go get a husband out of a cousin? Which one of uncle somebody's? You know, I have no idea what's going on, so let me not assume relationships yet. Where did I just go? They're trying to act like they weren't standing right there. Unless Uncle Ned is not her uncle, what the F is he asking her a question like that for? Okay, so she was gone for a week and supposed to have gone and figured out who was the marrying kind. Okay, so she lives, these, they all live here together. They don't want her to be considering this a home. I was going to say, well, why aren't they like that?
is that young? Love with a proper stranger. Lowest cut dress. What the heck? It's kind of a change. What is that? Because her collar is right here right now, and her lowest cut. and nobody knew. In the Indian Ocean, huh? Okay, oh yeah, that's not gonna get her anywhere in this situation, right? If she knows that, her huh? Wondering if she already is. This is a good movie. Bless her little heart. The big brothers. That other boy is not supposed to be older than her, right? The way she took off her shoes, Catherine Hepburn takes off her shoes. She looks, being quite the tomboy, she looks like she's most comfortable being barefoot. And she takes shoes off, especially like heels, like <laughs> it's not natural for her to be wearing them. I thought it was reference to like a tornado coming and this dude's little preventer, tornado preventer. She said the older brothers, this fool's not supposed to be older than her, right? Because, I mean, she definitely needs to be in the old maid category. It's not believable for her to be too young. I mean, I, I'm not even going to refer to her the way that they did, but 
it's not okay if this member of their family just kind of is in the family. <clears throat> oh, the rainmaker! This con man's gonna come up with some way to make it rain. You know what? <laughs> It's very much needed. Oh, they're losing their animals. Are those dead horses? Calves. Well, yeah, no water. Uh, this is like the big country. Oh, goodness, where they need to at least have some source of water to take them to. Uh. Seems like that's dried up everywhere. Even if there is like only one spot of it, huh? Did he say Starbuck? <clears throat> what was it his same? little implement. He can make a rain. Oh, hang on, keep going. These, it's a tornado preventer or it's a rain maker. Okay, I'll see you later. Where? So she just keeps her house clean. Wearing pants? Does she get in trouble for wearing pants? <laughs> oh, so she's a little short order cook. She can crack her eggs without getting a shell in them. It's biblical. Connor Heifer. Boy, she keeps it positive with these fools, huh? She ain't, I don't, she ain't flipping out on them like Natalie would in um, Love of the Proper Stranger. So this is some pressure. Who is this going to be? Is it Wendell Corey? Oh, well, he's the one. A matter of pride that she don't want to have to be con. 
constantly. Yeah, I can see how you would, sweetie. Oh. He at least tells her that. She does want a man? That's fine if she does. gonna cry. She said it might be that dude. <laughs> okay, goodness. This would go great. I know he ain't talking about her. Okay, all right. All right, I, I was like, y'all ain't gonna be calling her everything. Oh my God, I really, that really got to me. <laughs> we actually have seen him in a few things huh? he was in rear window I totally forgot about that this dial in for murder holiday affair file and Thelma Joy I mean you know he did plenty of movies but he's just not like the ladies man sheriff so he just really doesn't work during the day because this dude does he's got is that a hole in his shirt he needs his shirt mended he needs a woman to mend his shirt for him because if he doesn't have one then he don't do it oh you know what She probably ain't gonna be waiting around though. All right, Jimmy is a hot mess for the ladies. I mean, he's not, he don't seem like a player, right? Like he seems like he can be wrapped around someone's finger. Okay, so these are his friends. And they're going to talk about a poker game, but I guess they don't have to be so subtle because she said to bring them over. What did he say? I... Uh... Oh, he's 
was asking about her. Larkin. I thought she said that this dude doesn't ever really raise his hat to her. Tries to ignore her. And now he's asking only about her. Would you like to come over for dinner? So he was fixing it. Oh, they were. Mm. Well, y'all said she was partying it up when she went over there. It's not weird. Well, Fult, what were you asking so much about? Lizzie? No. Ooh, well, it's just because you have your badge on, dude. No, you started out the whole conversation about their sister. Or daughter. And then... Yeah. The no, that's messed up. Because as soon as they just got stopped beating around the bush that he was trying to just make them say it, he's like, oh no. Did she come back alone? Oh, you ain't gonna hit him. He's reading him. Well, no, you guys weren't. But you were being real, yeah, rude, dude. Playing games. Oh, yeah. Your shirt needs to be a lot more mended than you can do. And, oh, read him. No. Oh, why not? I love it. Well, he's reading you in righteousness, for.
and we're on the fifth page. Damn! He was reading him in righteousness. He read him in you telling lies. And then asked him if he wanted to get read some more. <laughs> and left. And he said, yes. We came here and told you that we like you enough to have you in our family. And is that so bad? And, and you are a jerk. And you are not a widower. Your woman left you. Try and tell people that... And they knew it. Aww. Does she have everything all decorated and she's all dressed up and she's got a great meal about to be put on the table? Oh, my grandma used to always say that when she would make a cake, don't walk heavy. And she would always make a lemon cake. And she said it might be that asshole. It's not. So just keep it moving, Lizzie. <laughs> Cause she's a hoe, dude. Like, aspire for something better. She's just visiting there. Oh, hang on, stand right. <laughs> what do these people do? They raise cattle. What? Can they go steady or? Jenny is wrong. I know. He can't make his own decision. I mean, he's trying to keep him from getting twisted up with a hoe, but... Oh, he's gonna sneak out? What is it about this hat with that chick? Like, she got offended again. And just hung up on it. He was trying to come around and saying, your ugly ass little hat is, I'm just checking on it. So you don't want a lady that pursues you like that? Does it just make her a hoe? She's a hoe. I mean, we already got all of the reasons why. But they're kind of trying to lead with if she chases you. It's like Lizzie, right? She doesn't chase. Like She's got to have these dudes set things up for her. It's really dainty and pretty, Lizzie, but it's so high up to the collar. She said she put on her lowest cut dress. You look beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are all giving her your back. Uh, yes, she knows. This is just so wrong. He probably ain't ever gonna come. You don't want him to, Lizzie. Just leave it alone. Keep it moving. Just keep it moving. You don't want no. Oh. No, I don't. But it's not about her so much as his issues.
okay, this one brother... No, he, he didn't. It's his own issues. Because he was being an asshole and was kind of asking about her. They should say that. No, they didn't really mess it up so much. saying that. He's the one that said she's a heifer. That lamp is so cute, cool, beautiful. <laughs> oh, she is cousin of a. St yeah, what the f? Do we want him to help? Okay, yeah. in his hand.
<clears throat> oh, is it going to just sit down at the table? Is he walking up those stairs? something about this being a play it, this it's feeling like that because I mean it's just bizarre the way they're allowing him to be in their houses this is almost coming across like a musical right like they've just broken out into song and everybody you know they're like look over they're all just standing there to this perfect stranger that she started out by saying don't you knock on the door before you come in. People, you, somebody can come up into my house. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, start walking. How did you already know her name is Lizzie? Well, the food is all ready to go, right, Lizzie? Oh, he don't drink out of the pitcher. Um, okay. Well, yeah, stay home and mend your socks, dude. Little hateful lion. Being the sheriff, dude, you can't be going around doing that to people. Yeah, oh, to go say sorry. Oh, they are calling you. He lives his life like he expects like that they should be calling him. the dude. What's a s Starbuck? 
<laughs> really? People, like, I've never heard that term before, before the chain around the world, right? I don't purchase it anymore. I make it at home every day. You see me drinking it in my little thermos. Why? I mean, they're giving him a hundred dollars back in this day. It's the equivalent of a thousand. Plus, he getting a meal too. Is he taking off now? Okay. Her. Pray. Did she make them little homemade ice cream? It looks like he's eating ice cream. Or he's a little tart. <laughs> She's vacuuming. Well, she keeps her house together. You ain't gonna be interrupting her cleanup schedule. Oh. He's done, right? <laughs> seems to deal with the weather, right? He can prevent tornadoes and make rain. How long does he do it for the next 23 hours? Just whenever he feels it. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's gonna go and get on it. I don't know that I've ever seen her.
Oh, this is so... Okay, that's perfect timing on the drum pull. It's just like, let's do it then, you know what I mean? Everybody to their task. Well, what does she have to do? You know she got to get in on it too. He read her and took one of her grapes. Oh, is it going to get real between the two of them? Just try to talk to Lizzie. It's like that. This is better. This is more like a movie than a play right now. The music is helping. I mean, this man is either like really off or sometimes he has done this. He just needs some testimonials. He needs a little portfolio that he can show to people if he really has ever done this. just trying to, um, it's actually, he was, okay, I feel like he was just trying to, um, connect with her, and he was being, I don't know, I feel like he was telling her the truth, oh, okay, well,
She is sad. Hmm. Is she going to tell him to stop beating the drum? Does he tell him to stop? Is he all jacked up and now he can't keep up his little con? Or this is getting him realigned? This is an allegory. Oh, so they can hear this drum. But they don't live that far away from this town. It's all his own issue. He makes himself very undesirable company. Do you know what I mean? Well, if you can only stand it for an hour, like, I bet she'll stand it for less, dude. Like, don't bother to come. I mean, how is he coming up over here right now with his, um, a chip on his shoulder? It was to paint an arrow. It was just a line. <laughs> he got kicked by the mule. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason why he didn't want to tie him up like that. That would be like the slur you could give to Jimmy, right? Is that he's he's dumb. And he's He's not he's sensitive, right? This little hoe. <laughs> I know her. Her name is Snicky. <laughs> Stop! Oh. 
Ow. Ow. It wouldn't be that dude, right? Who would they be calling for that he says is not... Oh, Snicky! I mean, okay, we'll just let him do that then. I mean, you're just going to become a father, Jimmy. And it'll be up to you, like, how you proceed with that. Like, are you marrying that chick? She closes the window too. Okay. I mean, just think it all the way through. It ain't like far to think through, Jimmy. I mean, you trying to have kids with this chick? Oh, seriously? Oh, is she gonna do it? She's changed, huh? Oh, he kind of put her in her place, so it's okay if he stays now. See, okay, Noah's all over the place because he'd be calling her a heifer, then he'd be saying she can stay here, she's got room board, why does she have to get married? Don't be proud of yourself saying that I don't have to worry about the family, look at her. Did he say what does he mean? This is giving me pride and prejudice. Lizzie in Pride and Prejudice. How she doesn't have to marry that dude, the little minister man. That you're not a woman. Uh -huh. Her hair, the thumbnail. It's his own drama. <clears throat> oh, what 
that shit. Where did Jim go? Is he upstairs? <clears throat> Don't leave me alone. Um, Lizzie, I thought you thought file could be your man. No, come on now. Seriously, get it together. that you wouldn't come for? Okay, well, what can she give to you, fool? Is he leaving now? Yeah, in body only. <clears throat> Sit down. No, he was saying no. Put you in your place. Oh. Okay. File. Well.
friend. It sounds like a song is about to happen. And it was eaten by a condom. Oh, I thought she was going to say cleaning. somebody that she could talk like this to, right? Does he like this? or uh, Dude, you need to be by yourself. Oh, she's being different. Is he leaving? It's him!
Oh, they just beaten up Jimmy today. Is that his name? Jimmy? Jimmy. Well, this is some deeper stuff. Yeah, he might not. They've been messing up Jimmy for a little bit. And... Okay. Um, if it needs to come to blows, I think y'all are a good match. Yeah, I mean, you can't be hitting Jimmy on top of, like, the emotional abuse that is all you serve to him. And he is grown. Oh, uh, well, damn, Noah. You're just in self-righteousness, right? Can anybody say anything to you? Well, she doesn't expect that. Um, no, do you have anybody, you know, in line? That's called projection right there. No, I don't think that Lizzie is thinking anybody's coming in on a white horse. She's just a little socially awkward. She's highly intelligent. She doesn't flirt like a dizzy little bitch very well. And... Well... It's maybe a little bit late for that, Dad. Yeah, that, it's to yourself, Lizzie.
sounds like the biggest coffee chain in the world. Does he say like Esmeralda? Did she like Cordelia? It's really hot, huh? Like, everybody is just melting. <laughs> Okay, this is slightly a musical. This is interesting. I mean, it is just on the edge of a musical that I can do this much. I can do this much. He's just gonna act a fool, give her his little athleticism. Well, she offended him. Does she come and work it out with him right now? She's got to lighten up a little bit in order to click with him, right? Hmm. Oh, okay.
she really wants to be married. Yeah. Yes. It's all about what he's saying. It's all about what her impression is of herself. Well, are you skeeved out, Lizzie, or not? I don't know if I've ever seen a more precious little, um, scene. What in the world is making this car move right now? They have a rope at the steering wheel. Wow. Um, okay. Well, yeah, Jimmy ran away um, to go get in this little house backseat of her car. And they just have a wheel making the car do donuts. I, again, it was up to him, right? They were still looking for him. <clears throat> um, oh, where's Lizzie? Noah, why don't you go get an apartment somewhere? Oh, this is his little business, his, his ranch. He keeps the books for the cattle. Keeping the books. Yeah, nobody needs your input anymore, Noah. Read him. Oh, okay.
these people need to part ways from living in the same house? Okay, um. Oh, I thought I'd say his eyes or something. Did they go get married? As long as she don't trap him the way he may have had to have been to be at this stage. It's happening the way that it should. I mean, he doesn't allow love, right? I mean, because with Jimmy, yes, she's a little hot, but they're engaged. So just, that's the way it should work out then, right? I better not be file coming back. It is. And it's after midnight. Yeah. Okay, well, leave it at that. works with the heavens up. And he sold 600.
Oh, but yeah, and what's this white line? On your ground here. So that's exactly the reason why he came out here. Is because he knows the dude is here. That's a white line, though. It's gonna rain, huh? Before the end of the movie. Mind your business, Sheriff, or Deputy, or... <laughs> oh. Where's the girl? There be, they're over here, not where he's heading to. He's getting a gun. He's making her a woman. I mean, yeah. No, you need to go live your own life in your own little self-righteous, um, nobody can touch you until you've already got the ring on your finger. You know what I mean? Like, oh, all right, well, it's, yes, what was I saying? I get it. Well, he kissed her, though? With the boy, if he wants to be with a hoe, you know, just needs to think it through. Oh, leave. They're engaged, right? Like, yeah, is she ain't the prize of the county, but they started out doing their little thing, and they decided because of that they want to get engaged. I mean, sometimes that's the flow. Doesn't work for Noah. I was going to say, are they walking away from each other? Oh, he doesn't have the time. 
long ago and I ain't got the time. He's never made it rain. She can have a boyfriend for a few days. They're not right. Oh, I was. Uh, they're not there. Okay, Noah. Bye bye. Just where were where were you going to anyway? She's known from Jump that he's a con man. Okay. He said that to her. No, way, ain't nobody trying to walk with you. Is he just showing her that the cop is looking around? More than you fools do. All right, yeah, let her go, Noah. You're you're outdated. You're expired. He's already gone.
more than you allow yourself to mean to people full on. Oh, he's all up in his feelings, all of his, oh, he's in his feelings about what he means to Lizzie with him. Yeah, that's none of your business. Oh, good for him. I mean, he came out just like when he decided to. He came out because he already knew this dude was here. He don't give enough. He ain't given a chance. Yes. Have they affected file at all? I know. Oh, Noah, what do you think? Is this the end of the movie? Does he just leave? Catherine Hepburn has no... Go, Lizzie. Twice, huh? I thought he was just sleeping. Does he say treat her right? Oh, he's gonna go? Jimmy's gonna go with him? Oh, he left his drum? going to follow up on this. We do not like files for her.
I mean, am I the only one that really does not like file for her? Oh, he's coming back. that movie guys um I mean I really enjoyed that slightly a musical right it just kept inching up to people were gonna break out in song he did a little dance um a little bit it felt like a play I mean I'm that close to calling it four stars too that was such an interesting story um and I love that ending because you know what I'm hopeless romantic I wanted Lizzie to go with him I really do not like file for her um and I hope that just because she stayed like she's not just automatically with that fool I love that he came back to get his money <laughs> and you know it's like okay he said goodbye beautiful to her and she can't just go live with him in a wagon but it was just a really peaceful ending I love that a very harder one to find. My very first time watching this movie in 32 years, so like and subscribe. Next two movies are my gift to you guys. Um, Ab Freight and Off of the Charts. So you'll want to be subscribed and have your notifications on. Let's jump on them. But yeah, you're, you're going to be welcome. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.